Firstly, understand that you are the creator of your reality. Every thought you think and every word you speak is creating your future. So let's start with affirmations. Affirmations are positive statements that you repeat to yourself to reprogram your subconscious mind. They're like planting seeds in the fertile soil of your consciousness. Think about what you truly desire. State your desires in positive affirmations. For example, say to yourself, I am worthy of all the good in life. I am open to receive abundance in all its forms. I am healthy, whole, and complete. These affirmations align your thoughts with what you want to manifest. Now let's explore the profound concept of forgiveness. Forgiveness is crucial because it allows us to release the weight of our past and opens the door to new beginnings. Many of us carry burdens from old hurts and grievances, but it's important to understand that holding on to resentment and anger only hurts ourselves, not the ones who may have caused us pain. As I often teach, forgiveness is for yourself because it sets you free. It releases you from the prison you've created for yourself. When we hold on to grudges or refuse to forgive, we keep ourselves locked in a cycle of negativity and suffering. It's like carrying around a heavy burden that weighs us down and prevents us from moving forward in life. Forgiveness doesn't mean condoning or forgetting what happened. It's about choosing to let go of the pain and resentment that hold us back. It's a conscious decision to release ourselves from the emotional chains of the past so that we can experience peace and liberation in the present moment. One of the first steps in the journey of forgiveness is acknowledging our feelings and the impact that past events have had on us. It's okay to feel hurt, angry, or betrayed. These emotions are valid and part of our healing process. By allowing ourselves to feel and process these emotions, we create space for healing and transformation. Next, forgiveness involves understanding that holding on to resentment only prolongs our suffering. When we forgive, we choose to prioritize our own well-being over staying stuck in feelings of anger or revenge. It's a gift we give ourselves a gift of inner peace and emotional freedom. Practicing forgiveness also requires compassion, both for ourselves and for others. It's about recognizing our shared humanity and understanding that everyone makes mistakes. Just as we seek forgiveness for our own shortcomings, we can extend that same compassion to those who have hurt us. Forgiveness doesn't mean we have to reconcile with those who have harmed us or forget the lessons we've learned. It's about releasing the negative energy that binds us to the past and prevents us from fully embracing the present moment. When we forgive, we reclaim our power and choose to no longer be defined by past wounds. A powerful way to practice forgiveness is through forgiveness affirmations. Affirmations are positive statements that help reprogram our subconscious mind. For example, you can say to yourself, I forgive myself and others for any pain or harm caused. I choose to release resentment and embrace peace. Another effective practice is writing a forgiveness letter. This letter is not necessarily sent to the person who hurt us, but is a private exercise to express our feelings and intentions. Writing can be a cathartic process that allows us to release pent-up emotions and gain clarity on our journey toward forgiveness. Close your eyes for a moment. Take a deep breath. Think of someone or a situation from your past that still troubles you. Now, repeat after me. I forgive you and I release you. I forgive myself for holding on to this pain. Feel the weight lifting off your shoulders as you let go of old grievances. Forgiveness is a powerful act of self-love and liberation. Next, let's explore the incredible power of visualization. Visualization is like making a movie in your mind of the life you want to create. It's a technique where you close your eyes and imagine yourself living your dreams and desires. Begin by finding a quiet place 
where you can relax. Close your eyes gently and take a few deep breaths to calm your mind and body. As you settle into a comfortable state, start to create a vivid picture in your mind. Imagine yourself in that ideal job or career, doing what you love and excelling in your field. See yourself waking up each day with enthusiasm and purpose, eager to contribute your unique talents to the world. Visualize the details, your workspace, your colleagues or clients, the tasks you enjoy completing effortlessly. Now shift your focus to your living space. Picture yourself in your dream home or ideal living environment. See the layout, the decor, and the atmosphere that surrounds you. Feel the sense of comfort and peace that comes with being in a space that truly reflects your style and personality. As you continue to visualize, bring your attention to your relationships. Envision yourself surrounded by loving, supportive people who uplift and inspire you. See yourself engaging in meaningful conversations, sharing laughter, and creating cherished memories together. Feel the warmth and connection in these relationships as if they are already a part of your daily life. Visualize with all your senses. Imagine the sights, the colors, shapes, and textures around you. Hear the sounds, the voices, music, or nature sounds that accompany your ideal scenes. Feel the emotions, the joy, gratitude, and fulfillment that arise from living your dreams. Allow yourself to immerse deeply into this visualization. Visualize with clarity and confidence, knowing that you are aligning your energy with your desires. See yourself achieving your goals and aspirations effortlessly, supported by the universe. Visualization is not just about imagining a future reality. It's about embodying the feelings and sensations of already having what you desire. Feel the excitement and satisfaction as if your dreams have already come true. This emotional connection strengthens the energy you send out into the universe, attracting similar positive experiences and opportunities into your life. Practice visualization regularly to reinforce your intentions and maintain a positive mindset. Spend a few minutes each day visualizing your goals and desires. The more you engage your imagination in this way, the more real and attainable your dreams become. As you visualize, you're sending out powerful energy vibrations into the universe. This energy attracts similar vibrations, bringing your dreams closer to reality. Remember, the universe responds to the vibrations you send out. So, make them positive, vibrant, and full of gratitude. Now let's explore the profound concept of self-love. Loving yourself is like building the strong foundation upon which all your dreams can manifest. It's about recognizing your inherent worthiness just because you are here, alive, and breathing. Take a moment to look in the mirror. Look deep into your own eyes and say these words aloud. I love you unconditionally. Feel the power of these words as they resonate within you. This simple act of self-affirmation can be transformative. It's a declaration to yourself that you are deserving of love, happiness, and all the good things life has to offer. Self-love isn't about being perfect or flawless. It's about embracing your whole self the strengths and the weaknesses, the successes and the setbacks. Your flaws and imperfections are what make you beautifully unique. They are a part of your journey, your story, and they deserve acceptance and compassion. Imagine treating yourself as you would treat your dearest friend, with kindness, understanding, and encouragement. When you extend this gentleness to yourself, you create a nurturing environment within which your dreams can grow and flourish. Self-love is the fertile soil in which your desires take root and blossom. It's important to recognize that self-love is not selfish. It's a necessary act of self-care and empowerment. 
When you prioritize loving yourself, you replenish your own well-being, making it possible for you to give more to others authentically and generously. Practicing self-love involves taking care of your physical, emotional, and spiritual needs. It means listening to your body and honoring its signals. Rest when you're tired, nourish yourself with healthy food, and move your body in ways that feel good. Emotionally, it's about acknowledging your feelings without judgment and allowing yourself to experience them fully. Spiritually, self-love involves connecting with your inner self, your essence. It's about nurturing your soul through practices that bring you joy and peace, whether it's meditation, spending time in nature, or engaging in creative pursuits that uplift your spirit. One powerful way to cultivate self-love is through positive affirmations. Affirmations are like seeds planted in the fertile soil of your subconscious mind. Choose affirmations that resonate with you, such as, I am worthy of love and happiness. I deserve success and abundance. Or, I trust in the wisdom of my heart. Repeat these affirmations daily with sincerity and belief. Let them sink deep into your consciousness, replacing old self-doubt and criticism with self-empowerment and confidence. Affirmations help reprogram your mind to focus on your inherent worthiness and potential. Self-love also involves setting boundaries that honor your needs and values. It means saying no to things that drain your energy or diminish your sense of self-worth. Setting boundaries is not about being selfish. It's about self-respect and self-preservation. Forgiveness is another essential aspect of self-love. Forgive yourself for past mistakes or perceived failures. Holding on to guilt or regret only weighs you down. Release the burden of judgment and embrace self-compassion. Understand that every experience, whether positive or challenging, has contributed to your growth and evolution. Remember, my dear ones, every challenge you face is an opportunity for growth. Embrace these challenges with courage and a positive mindset. See them as stepping stones to your highest potential. As I often say, every experience I have is perfect for my growth. Practicing gratitude daily can truly transform your life. It's like having a magnet that attracts miracles. When you take a moment each day to count your blessings, you begin to see the abundance that already exists in your life. Instead of focusing on what you may lack or what's missing, gratitude shifts your perspective to appreciate what you have right now. Imagine starting your day by acknowledging the simple joys a roof over your head, food on the table, and the love of family and friends. These are not just things, they are gifts that enrich your life every day. When you recognize and express gratitude for them, you open yourself up to receiving even more blessings. Gratitude is not just about saying thank you out of politeness, it's about cultivating a deep sense of appreciation for the goodness in your life. It could be the smile of a stranger, a warm cup of tea on a chilly morning, or a peaceful moment of solitude. These small moments are often overlooked, but they hold immense value when you pause to acknowledge them with gratitude. As you practice gratitude consistently, you'll notice a shift in your mindset. You become more aware of the positive aspects of your life, no matter how small they may seem. This shift in focus from scarcity to abundance is powerful. It sends out a message to the universe that you are open to receiving more blessings. Gratitude is also a tool for resilience. During challenging times, it helps you find silver linings and reasons to keep going. It's not about denying difficulties, but about finding strength and hope amidst them. When you can appreciate the lessons learned from hardships, you cultivate a mindset of growth and possibility. Moreover, gratitude fosters deeper connections with others. When you express gratitude towards someone, 
you acknowledge their kindness and generosity. This strengthens your relationships and creates a ripple effect of positivity. People appreciate being appreciated, and this simple act can brighten someone's day and strengthen your bond with them. Scientists have even studied the benefits of gratitude on mental and physical health. It's been shown to reduce stress, improve sleep quality, and enhance overall well-being. When you cultivate gratitude, you're not just improving your mood, you're nurturing your mind and body. To practice gratitude, you can start with a gratitude journal. Each day, write down three things you're grateful for. They can be big or small, personal or universal. Reflect on why you're grateful for each item and how it makes you feel. This simple practice trains your mind to notice and appreciate the positives in your life. Another way to practice gratitude is through daily affirmations. Start your day by saying out loud or silently to yourself, I am grateful for all the blessings in my life. Repeat this affirmation throughout the day, especially when you encounter challenges or moments of doubt. It reinforces your mindset of abundance and attracts more positivity into your life. As you integrate these practices into your daily routine, affirmations, forgiveness, visualization, self-love, and gratitude, you'll notice a profound sh I forgive myself and others. Forgiveness is like a magic key that unlocks the door to freedom. Imagine holding on to a heavy bag of stones. That's what holding on to grudges and resentment feels like. But forgiveness is like dropping that bag and feeling light and free again. Imagine this scenario. Someone does something hurtful to you. Maybe they say something mean or do something that makes you feel angry or sad. In that moment, you have a choice. You can hold on to that hurt and anger, replaying the situation over and over in your mind, or you can choose to let it go. Ask yourself this question, would I rather be right or would I rather be happy? Holding on to grudges might feel like you're standing up for yourself or proving a point, but in the end, it only weighs you down and keeps you stuck in the past. Forgiveness isn't about saying that what the other person did was okay. It's not about letting them off the hook or pretending that nothing happened. Instead, forgiveness is about releasing yourself from the burden of carrying around all that negativity. Think of forgiveness as a gift you give yourself, a gift of peace, freedom, and healing. When you forgive, you're not saying that what the other person did was right or acceptable. You're simply choosing to let go of the hurt and anger that's been weighing you down. It's not always easy to forgive, especially when you've been hurt deeply. But holding on to anger and resentment only hurts you in the long run. It's like drinking poison and expecting the other person to die. It just doesn't make sense. So, how do you forgive? Start by acknowledging your feelings and allowing yourself to feel them fully. Then, make a conscious decision to let go of the need to hold on to grudges and resentment. Remember that forgiveness is a process, and it may take time. Be gentle and kind to yourself. Stop criticizing and scaring yourself with negative thoughts. Instead, replace them with loving affirmations. Affirm, I am worthy of success. I am capable of achieving my dreams. I trust in the process of life. Practice patience and trust in the timing of the universe. Understand that things happen when they're meant to happen and everything is unfolding just the way it should. Instead of rushing or worrying, try to relax and have faith that everything will fall into place at the right time. Learning to be patient can be hard sometimes, especially when we're eager for things to happen. But remember, good things take time. Trust that the universe has a plan for you, and it's working behind the scenes to bring your dreams to fruition. Patience isn't just about waiting. It's also about staying positive and hopeful while you wait. Keep your thoughts focused on the outcome you desire, and trust that the universe is conspiring in your favor. 
be open to the lessons that each experience brings, even if they seem small or insignificant. Every setback, every delay, and every challenge is an opportunity for growth and learning. Embrace these moments as chances to become stronger, wiser, and more resilient. Sometimes, progress may feel slow, and it may seem like you're only taking small steps toward your goals. But remember, every step forward, no matter how small, is still progress. Celebrate each little victory along the way, and trust that you're moving in the right direction. It's important to be patient, not only with the external world, but also with yourself. Be kind and compassionate toward yourself as you navigate your journey. Understand that it's okay to make mistakes and encounter obstacles along the way. These are all part of the learning process. Trust in your own abilities and believe in your potential to overcome any challenge that comes your way. Have faith in yourself and your capacity to create the life you desire. Know that you have everything you need to succeed within you. Practice patience by focusing on the present moment and appreciating the beauty of life as it unfolds. Instead of worrying about the future or dwelling on the past, try to stay grounded in the here and now. Find joy in the simple things and cultivate a sense of gratitude for all the blessings in your life. Every morning, take a moment to visualize success. Close your eyes and picture yourself achieving your goals and living the life you've always wanted. Imagine what it feels like to be successful, happy, and fulfilled in every aspect of your life. Visualizing success is like creating a mental movie of your dreams. See yourself accomplishing your goals with ease and confidence. Picture yourself overcoming any obstacles that come your way and celebrating your achievements. Imagine waking up feeling excited and energized about the day ahead. Visualize yourself tackling challenges with a positive attitude and finding solutions effortlessly. See yourself surrounded by supportive friends and family, enjoying loving and fulfilling relationships. Visualize yourself in vibrant health, full of energy and vitality. Picture yourself engaging in activities that nourish your body and soul, whether it's exercising, eating nutritious foods, or practicing self-care. Envision yourself radiating with health and well-being. See abundance flowing into every area of your life. Imagine financial prosperity with opportunities for wealth and success coming your way. Visualize yourself living in abundance, enjoying the freedom to pursue your passions and fulfill your dreams. As you visualize success, focus on the feelings of joy, gratitude, and fulfillment that come with achieving your goals. Feel the excitement and satisfaction of living the life of your dreams, knowing that you are worthy and deserving of all the good things that come your way. Visualizing success is a powerful tool that can help you manifest your dreams into reality. By consistently visualizing your goals and desires, you align your thoughts and emotions with what you want to attract into your life. This positive energy acts as a magnet, drawing opportunities and resources towards you. Make visualizing success a daily practice by setting aside time each morning to connect with your dreams and goals. Find a quiet, comfortable space where you can relax and focus your mind. Close your eyes and take a few deep breaths to center yourself. As you visualize success, engage all your senses to make the experience as vivid and real as possible. Imagine the sights, sounds, and smells associated with achieving your goals. Feel the emotions of success coursing through your body, filling you with confidence and inspiration. Finally, it's important to love yourself completely, without any conditions. Think about how wonderful it feels when you're in love with someone else. You care for them deeply, you appreciate their uniqueness, and you want them to be happy. Now imagine feeling that same love for yourself. When you love yourself unconditionally, you accept yourself exactly as you are. 
You embrace all your strengths and weaknesses, knowing that they make you who you are. Just like you would forgive and support someone you love, you do the same for yourself. You are deserving of all the good things life has to offer. You deserve love, joy, and abundance in every aspect of your life. Sometimes it's easy to forget this, especially when we face challenges or setbacks. But no matter what happens, always remind yourself of your worth. When you truly love yourself, you open yourself up to endless possibilities. You become more confident, more resilient, and more compassionate towards yourself and others. Your relationships improve, your health improves, and you attract positive experiences into your life. So, how can you start loving yourself unconditionally? Begin by treating yourself with kindness and compassion. Be gentle with yourself when you make mistakes or face difficulties. Instead of criticizing yourself, offer words of encouragement and support. Practice self-care regularly by doing things that make you feel happy and fulfilled. This could be anything from taking a relaxing bath, going for a walk in nature, or spending time with loved ones. Whatever it is, prioritize activities that nourish your mind, body, and soul. Another way to love yourself unconditionally is by practicing gratitude. Take a moment each day to appreciate yourself and all the blessings in your life. Focus on the things you love about yourself, your strengths, talents, and important, because you are amazing just the way you are. You are worthy of all the good things in life, love, happiness, success, you name it. When you truly believe in your worthiness, incredible things start to happen. Imagine this, you wake up in the morning, look in the mirror and say, I love you to yourself. How would that make you feel? Pretty awesome, right? That's because self-love is like sunshine for your soul. It brightens up your day and fills you with warmth and happiness. When you love yourself, you send out a powerful message to the universe. You're saying, I deserve the best. And guess what? The universe agrees. It wants to shower you with blessings and miracles, but it can only do that when you believe you're worthy. Now, I know loving yourself isn't always easy. Sometimes we're our own toughest critics. We focus on our flaws instead of celebrating our strengths. But here's the thing. You are not your mistakes, your shortcomings, or your imperfections. You are a unique and wonderful being deserving of love and respect. So, how can you practice self-love? Start by being kind to yourself. Treat yourself with the same love and compassion you would show to a friend. Take care of your body, mind, and spirit. Eat nourishing food, get plenty of rest, and do things that bring you joy. Next, practice positive self-talk. Instead of criticizing yourself, try saying kind and encouraging words. Tell yourself you're doing the best you can and that you're worthy of love and happiness. Remember, the way you talk to yourself matters, so be gentle and supportive. In my literature, I often talk about the power of affirmations. Affirmations are simple statements that we repeat to ourselves to shift our beliefs and thoughts. For example, you might say, I am worthy of love and abundance, or I am capable of achieving my dreams. But it's not just about saying the words, it's about feeling them deep within your soul. When you say your affirmations with conviction and belief, your mind begins to accept them as truth. And when your mind believes, the universe responds in kind. Now, let's take a moment to dive into the wonderful world of gratitude. Gratitude is like saying thank you to the universe. It's when you feel thankful for the good things in your life, big or small. Imagine you're holding a basket, and every time you say thank you, you're adding a beautiful flower to it. Why is gratitude so amazing? 
well, it's like a magic wand that attracts even more good stuff to you. When you appreciate what you have, you're telling the universe, hey, I love this, give me more. And guess what? The universe listens. It loves to shower you with blessings when you show gratitude. Think about it this way. Have you ever noticed that when you're grateful, you feel happy? It's like a warm, fuzzy feeling inside your heart. That's because gratitude fills you up with joy and contentment. It's like wrapping yourself in a cozy blanket on a chilly day. But here's the best part. Gratitude isn't just about feeling good. It's about making magic happen. When you're thankful for what you have, you create a positive energy that ripples out into the world. It's like sending out little love notes to the universe, and in return, the universe sends you even more love. So how do you practice gratitude? It's easy peasy. You can start by saying thank you for the things you have right now. Maybe it's your favorite toy, a delicious meal, or a sunny day. Whatever it is, take a moment to appreciate it. You can also keep a gratitude journal. Every day, write down three things you're thankful for. It could be something as simple as a hug from a friend or a funny joke that made you laugh. By focusing on the good stuff, you'll attract even more goodness into your life. And don't forget to say thank you to the people around you. Whether it's your mom, your teacher, or your pet hamster, let them know how much you appreciate them. A little gratitude goes a long way in making someone's day brighter. Take a moment each day to count your blessings, no matter how small they may seem. Whether it's a beautiful sunset, a warm cup of tea, or the love of a friend, there is always something to be grateful for. And lastly, I'd like to emphasize the incredible power of visualization. Now what's visualization? It's like making a movie in your head. You create a picture in your mind of what you want. Let's say you dream of becoming a great artist. Close your eyes and see yourself painting your masterpiece. Feel the paintbrush in your hand, smell the paint, and see the colors on the canvas. Why is this important? Because when you imagine yourself reaching your goals, something magical happens. You tell your brain what you want and it listens. Your brain doesn't know the difference between what's real and what's imagined. So when you vividly picture your success, your brain thinks it's already happening. And that's not all. When you add emotion to your visualization, it's like adding fuel to a fire. Feel the excitement, the joy, and the pride as you see yourself achieving your dreams. Your emotions are like magnets, attracting your desires to you. But here's the thing. Visualization isn't just about seeing yourself succeed. It's about believing it with all your heart. You have to believe that your dreams are possible, that you deserve them, and that you're capable of making them a reality. So every day, take a few moments to visualize your goals. Close your eyes, see yourself living your dream life, and feel the happinesses bubbling inside you. The more you practice, the more real it will feel. And soon enough, you'll start to see evidence of your dreams coming true in your life. Visualization is a powerful tool that can help you overcome obstacles and achieve your goals. But remember, it's not enough to just imagine success. You have to take action too. Your dreams won't come true just by wishing for them. You have to work for them step by step, day by day. So use visualization to inspire and motivate you. But don't forget to roll up your sleeves and get to work. With a clear vision and a determined spirit, there's nothing you can't accomplish. Close your eyes and see yourself living your dream life. Feel the emotions as if it's already happening. When you do this consistently, you align your thoughts and actions with your desires, paving the way for success and abundance. You have the power to achieve anything you desire. Convince your mind to think like this and watch as miracles unfold in your life. Believe in yourself, practice gratitude, 
and visualize your dreams with love and intention.